Ever pondered why zebras have stripes? Could it be a fashion statement in the animal kingdom, or do these stripes serve a more significant purpose? Welcome to the fascinating world of zebras, a world painted in black and white, where each stripe tells a story of survival and adaptation. The unique stripes of zebras have been the subject of much speculation and scientific inquiry. Over the years, scientists have proposed various theories to solve the mystery of these stripes. One of the earliest theories suggested that the stripes serve as a form of camouflage. It was believed that the alternating black and white stripes might confuse predators, making it difficult for them to single out an individual zebra from the herd. However, as intriguing as this theory might sound, it doesn't fully explain the phenomenon. Zebras are primarily active during the day, and their main predators, like lions, have color vision that is less sensitive to stripe patterns. Then came another theory, proposing that the stripes might act as a natural cooling system. Here's how it supposedly works. The black stripes absorb more sunlight and get hotter, while the white stripes reflect sunlight and stay cooler. This difference in temperature could generate small breezes that cool the zebra down. But perhaps the most compelling theory to date is that the zebra's stripes are a deterrent for biting insects. Some studies have found that flies are less likely to land on striped surfaces, suggesting that zebra's stripes might be a natural bug repellent. It's clear that the zebra's stripes are not a mere aesthetic feature, but a critical survival tool. They are an excellent example of how animals adapt to their environment in the most creative ways. However, the mystery of the zebra's stripes is far from solved. Each theory brings us closer to understanding these magnificent creatures, yet there is always more to learn, more to uncover. So, these stripes are not just for show, they are essential for the zebra's survival. Now, you may think all zebras are the same, but did you know there are three distinct species of zebra? First off, we have the plains zebra. This is the one you're probably most familiar with thanks to its extensive presence in documentaries and zoos around the world. The plains zebra is the smallest of the three species, yet don't let its size fool you. This zebra is known for its resilience and adaptability, surviving in various habitats from grasslands to savannas. And those iconic black and white stripes? Well, they're as unique as fingerprints varying in pattern and width from zebra to zebra. Then we have the mountain zebra, which as you might have guessed calls the rugged mountainous regions of South Africa its home. Two subspecies exist within the mountain zebra, one being the Cape Mountain Zebra, and the other the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. These zebras are slightly larger than their plains cousins, and sport a distinctive grid-like stripe pattern on their rumps. Plus, they have a small dewlap, a loose flap of skin on their neck, which the plains zebra lacks. Finally, we come to the Grevy Zebra, the largest and most endangered of the three. Named after Jules Grevy, a former president of France, this zebra is a sight to behold. It's taller, has larger ears, and its stripes are narrower and more defined than those of the plains and mountain zebras. The Grevy's zebra prefers to live in semi-arid grasslands where it can graze on a variety of grasses. One might think that zebras are all black and white, but there's a lot more going on under those stripes. Each species of zebra has its own unique set of characteristics from size to stripe patterns, and from habitats to adaptations. Each species of zebra is unique in its own way, adapting to different environments and conditions. As we delve deeper into the world of zebras, we'll discover more about these fascinating creatures and their roles in our world's diverse ecosystems. Zebras are social animals, but how do they interact within their groups? Let's dive into the fascinating social structure of these black and white striped wonders. Zebras typically move in herds, which are essentially close-knit families. These herds consist of a dominant stallion, several mares, and their young. The stallion, often the oldest and most experienced, takes on the role of protector, guiding his family across the vast African savannas and shielding them from predators. The mares, on the other hand, aren't just bystanders. They play an equally important role in the herd, particularly when it comes to nurturing and educating their young. Young zebras, or foals, learn everything they need to know about survival from their mothers, from identifying predators to finding water sources. This early education is crucial, as it equips the foals with the necessary skills to thrive in the wild. Now let's touch on something that makes zebras particularly unique, their method of communication. Unlike other horses, zebras have a distinct barking sound that they use to communicate with each other. This bark, or bray, is used to warn other members of the herd about potential danger or to call out to a missing member. It's a sophisticated form of communication that underscores the complexity of zebra social structure. 
One particularly intriguing aspect of zebra society is their mutual grooming behavior. Zebras will often nuzzle and groom each other, which serves a dual purpose. Not only does this help keep their coats clean and parasite-free, but it also helps to strengthen social bonds within the herd. These behaviors, the protective instincts of the stallions, the nurturing of the mares, the early education of the foals, and their unique forms of communication and mutual grooming, all contribute to the complexity and cooperation within the zebra social structure. It's a world that is both fascinating and intricate, showing us that these stunning creatures are more than just their iconic stripes. The social structure of zebras is a testament to their cooperative and complex nature. Zebras face numerous threats in the wild, but what are these threats and how do they impact zebra populations? Like many other species in our world, the biggest threat to zebras is the loss of their natural habitat. Due to increasing human populations and activities such as agriculture and urbanization, zebras are being pushed out of their homes. This encroachment deprives them of their feeding grounds and disrupts their migratory patterns, leading to a decline in their numbers. Another significant threat is hunting. Zebras are hunted for their striking skins which are sold in illegal wildlife markets. Though hunting zebras is illegal in many places, enforcement of these laws can be challenging, leading to a black market trade that threatens zebra populations. Disease also plays a significant role in the decline of zebra populations. These diseases can be naturally occurring or can be introduced by domestic livestock that share grazing areas with zebras. Some of these diseases include anthrax, foot and mouth disease, and equine influenza. These diseases can quickly spread through a herd, causing death and reducing the population. Despite these threats, there is still hope. Conservation efforts are in full swing to protect and preserve zebra populations. National parks and protected areas have been established to provide safe havens for zebras. These areas offer zebras protection from hunting and give them a chance to live in their natural habitats without human interference. Conservation organizations are also working to combat disease in zebra populations. By monitoring disease outbreaks and providing treatment where possible, these organizations are helping to ensure the survival of zebras. Education and awareness programs are another crucial part of conservation efforts. By educating the public about the threats that zebras face and the importance of their survival, we can inspire people to take action and make a difference. In conclusion, the survival of zebras is a delicate balance, threatened by both natural and man-made factors. But with continued conservation efforts and increased awareness, we have the power to ensure that zebras continue to thrive in their natural habitats for generations to come. Zebras have fascinated humans for centuries, but how have they influenced human culture? Let's embark on a journey through time to explore this intriguing relationship. From the dawn of human civilization, zebras have held a special place in our hearts and minds. Ancient cave paintings discovered in various parts of Africa depict these striped creatures, indicating their importance to our ancestors. The striking contrast of black and white stripes set against the African landscape must have left a deep impression on early humans, inspiring them to capture these images for posterity. Fast forward to more recent times, and we see that zebras have continued to inspire and influence human culture in various ways. Fashion designers, for instance, have often used zebra prints in their creations, captivated by the unique and bold patterns. From haute couture to street style, zebra stripes have become synonymous with boldness and individuality. In the realm of literature and film, zebras have played a significant role too. Remember the beloved character Marty from the animated movie Madagascar? His humorous and endearing personality, coupled with his eye-catching zebra stripes, made him a favorite among audiences worldwide. In literature, zebras have been used as symbols of freedom, wildness, and the beauty of nature, enchanting readers of all ages. Furthermore, in educational settings, zebras serve as a compelling tool to teach children about wildlife, biodiversity, and the importance of conservation. The striking appearance of zebras makes them easily recognizable, and their fascinating social structure and behaviors provide valuable lessons about the natural world. So whether it's through fashion, film, literature, or education, zebras have left an indelible mark on human culture. Their unique beauty and captivating behaviors continue to inspire us, reminding us of the richness and diversity of the world we live in. From ancient times to the present day, zebras continue to captivate us with their beauty and mystery. And as we move forward, we can be sure that these graceful creatures will continue to play a significant role in shaping our culture and perceptions of the natural world.